Ooh, Sean, you're getting too old for these, buddy. Welcome back, you beautiful people. Happy Wednesday. If you're brand spanking new to the channel, what we do here on Wednesdays is we kind of we break it down, we go through some knowledge, some things that I've experienced and what I've learned, and I kind of talk to you guys about it. So welcome. Like I said, today's Wisdom Wednesday. Let's go ahead and uh, roll the intro. What's up guys? So today, you know, typically I'm pretty hyped on this channel. I'm bringing excitement, positivity, which we still are today. We're just going to turn it down just a little bit because it's Wisdom Wednesday. We got to break it down. We got to get some serious notes going on, right? So what I want to talk about today was something that I actually experienced or witnessed or saw the other day watching my favorite TV show of all time. And that is Boy Meets World. If you haven't seen it, you got to go see it. Greatest television show of all time. And in the episode, I'll make this quick. What happened was is Corey... The boy who meets world, he's the, basically the star of the show, is with in love with his six, his girlfriend. They're both 16 years old. They've been together since they're like seven years old. And they get delivered the news that she's going to have to move from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. Well, when this was happening, of course, they're both devastated. And Corey's parents are kind of like, you know, hey, you've been together for her for a, long, a lot of your childhood. It's time to kind of move on, meet new people, be with other people, and figure out, you know, what love is and kind of experience that. And he wasn't about it. He's like, no, I love, I love to paint. I'm going to be with her forever. I'm going to marry this girl. I know I'm supposed to be with her. I love her. And the parents were kind of being very against that saying you know you don't know what love is you don't understand it you're too young blah blah, blah. and uh, it made me furious <laughs> absolutely furious and the reason why is because I related to it so much Kayla and I we've been together since we were 16 years old we're now 24 and to see that happen to them it kind of just brought up some old like memories as people telling us you know you're not you're too young you don't know any better you don't know what love is and etc etc and I just really kind of just I really wanted to talk about it because at the end of the episode he kind of breaks down to his mom and she goes you know what is she asks him what is what is love to you and he describes it just like beautifully basically saying it's not tangible you can't you can't really touch it you can't see it but you just feel it Right? It's not something you can really explain. It's just this internal feeling you have for somebody that's all you just can't explain. And everybody's love is different. Your love for somebody is different from my love from somebody. So you can't tell me when I don't or do love somebody, and I can't tell you when you do or don't love somebody. It's just some it's just this magical thing. And that's kind of why I was getting frustrated. I understand, you know, like parents and older people, they have wisdom, they they're wiser, they've been around longer, they've experienced things. I respect that. I understand that. But at the same time, when it comes to love, it's feeling right it's everybody comes about it differently no matter I don't think there's a, you can experience everything in the world and see everything in the world but this person next to you is gonna love entirely differently and have the feeling for somebody completely different because of what they've experienced and it's something that you have to find within you can't tell somebody what to love and how to love it it's just it's in somebody and that's why I was getting angry people ask me all the time people used to say to King you're too long you're too young you're, you're, you're too young to get married you don't you don't know what love is and people always ask me you know well aren't you afraid you're gonna miss out on like experience thing because you've only been with her my answer to that is no because I am experiencing everything I wanted life to be and that is seeing the world and seeing and experiencing these crazy life events with the one person that I love truly my best friend that's what to me experience life is it may not be for you it may not be for the next person and that's okay you're not wrong for that but I'm not wrong either. We're all right. We all love and care in our own unique and beautiful ways. And that's kind of why I was getting frustrated is that I feel, and I understood, you know, again, from a parent's side, you're trying to protect your child. And I respect that. But I feel like I was, I just got frustrated, right? From more of an emotional side, from personal side. And I think I'll understand more when I have my own kids. I think I'll have a better understanding. But for now, this is where I sit. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying what I think, what I believe. And that's what Wisdom Wednesday is. You know what I mean? I try to come out and express how I feel. Everything comes from right here in the heart. So if you guys disagree with that, I want to hear about it. I may not agree with you. You may not agree with me. And that's beautiful. That's completely okay. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear your thoughts on that. So just, I, I really wanted to get that off my chest. I'm, I'm glad I did. I said what I wanted to say. I also want to shout, give uh, my beautiful wife, give, give her a special shout out. It is her birthday today. She is turning, what is it, 84, babe? 24, 84, something like that. Happy birthday, you beautiful unicorn. I absolutely love you. I cannot wait for our vacation this weekend. You are the greatest friend that I could have ever asked for and that I have ever had. I'm so glad that I get to experience all these crazy, unique life events and just this beautiful world with you by my side. Again, I can't wait to spend the weekend with you. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I'll see you back on here tomorrow, bright and early. You guys already know, we're, we're doing it every day. I don't know when I'm going to stop, but right now we're going every single day. So make sure you love them to your left, guys. Make sure you love them to your right. 
And as always, God grant us.